thinking about the idea of our non-verbal communication and the tells from, from non-verbals because over 60% of our communication is non-verbal, which I found fascinating as a choreographer. And I suppose I was really curious about what this language is that we all speak to one another uh, every day uh, to see if again it was possible to pull that information in and to organise it and to present it back to a viewer. So the system that we're using at the moment is, um, it starts with an interview, it's a member of the public and they come in and they speak to us or speak to a camera and they're led through uh, an interview which takes about 20 minutes with uh, Christopher Ash, who's our multimedia artist. We spent a lot of time just going over this like enormously large subject of body language and how do we present it, how do we present it in art and realize that there's too much to capture. We essentially create a contact sheet of people in front of the audience's eyes. We uh, have a live film that is frozen um, as I see a moment of body language in someone uh, that we're interviewing. Um, I'll freeze that image and that will inform the dancers, then what we have is a score um, of, of images, of shape, of emotion, of reaction, of uh, inaction. So the whole thing is kind of composition in real time. We take information through our bodies and try and allow choreography to happen um, through different parts of the storyboard, as it were, and then present them back to the person. The single most important thing for me is to try and get a sense of the individual physically. The impressions that their body is making on the images, but also the emotional sense that I'm getting from them. And it's trying to find that place as a, as a sort of neutral base point to then begin generating uh, material. For me, the, the most interesting aspect of it is to try to find a way to <clears throat> break down the barriers between the me as the receiver, the performer, and them as the, the sort of study, if you like, and how the, actually that can change how we start to relate to each other, you know, in everyday life. So it's sort of a really subtle engagement with all of the nuances of the body and the face and essentially who they are. I always create a little story in my head about the person. I don't know whether it's true or not, um, but this is how I'm relating to them and trying to feel them to just look at them and think about how are they feeling and then trying to connect in that way, I think that's really beautiful. And in a cumulative way, it's a daily practice, so it's, you, things are being revealed differently daily and there's different structures coming in and there's different interviewees, so you've got different energy signatures coming through the body language of each person that's interviewed and you're just getting new layers daily coming in and new people and new energy to work with. We are making a, a live film, as it were, in, in the space where Chris Flash is able to be, be one of the performers with us. And not only is he in the space with us, but he's able to take, um, to come very close to our bodies and take up detail and nuance and allow it to be uh, screened uh, in the space as well. So if you're in the audience at that point, you're able to see us making the film also by performing live to you. So it's, it's got a really uh, multi-layered kind of feeling. It's been a really fascinating journey uh, every day with when somebody new comes into the, into the work. They really, they really affect the work and they affect how we feel, uh, how we want to communicate uh, to them and how they communicate to us. And yeah, it's just been a, a really interesting journey that I hope to continue.